What is up guys? Welcome to another Slay the Spire video. Now today guys, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna get off the defects because the defect is making me defects. It's not... I'm tired of... No, I actually, I really do like the defects, but I want to switch it up a little bit guys. We're gonna play some Silence, Ascension 15, and we're gonna go absolutely bonkers and nuts. Now I'm gonna be very, very risk taking i'm not going to be risk adverse now, i don't recommend this if you're trying to win streak or whatever but if you're having a, trying to have a good time and want to have a good run do risk e things now what we're going to do is transform to cards strike strike eviscerate slice now, this is how i like my runs to start now again i did start with the curse the dk but the upside is that if we get the do doll then we're a-okay so we got eviscerate slice very nice for offense I'm going to go ahead and do two elites and three rest. Let's see what another path we might be able to do. One, two, three, four. Four rest and then a one, two, three. You know, this is actually a good path. We're going to be extremely risky. Now, this might be even riskier than it should be, but I'm going for three elites. And one of those elites is going to be extremely early. Let's see how this works. Okay, we're going against the Gremlin Nav, and this is not going to be an easy fight. No siree. Uh, might be dead right here. This is why you don't take early elites. Uh, okay, okay. This is why we don't take early elites. Uh, this is why we don't take early elites. Do we have lethal is the question. How close were we? How close? Oh my god. That's why we go risk adverse because in a routine you get punished pretty hard. Uh, let's go again. And let's just ignore everything that just ever happened. Alright, guys, so on this time I took a more sensible path and I was just trying to get back to the well bonus, but this ended up being a really crazy run. If you guys notice, I know it's going very fast. We got offered a Wraith form and a Nightmare coming up, and then a Noxious Shumes as well. So we ended up with a Wraith form, Noxious Shumes, Nightmare deck, which set us up for a good way to go for Elite. So I went ahead and got some Elites. This is Laga right here. We beat this guy pretty easily. We have an upgraded Deadly Poison in the deck, a backflip, a deflect, and for the most part, it's a relatively simple deck. We've got a skewer upgraded that, got the Gremlin Knob. We picked up a Ninja Scroll and a Meat in the Bone in terms of Relics. Basically went YOLO on that guy. We also got a Shovel, and I believe we just dug a Bottle Flame in which I put my Neutralize in my first hand. So right now we have a skewer, all the Relics you guys see there. Noxious Shrooms, we picked up the Nightmare right there, and we upgraded the Wraith Form, and here we kind of just... This is when the run gets kind of interesting. You're going to see, I believe, we pick up a dash. Yep, we picked up a dash. We fight the Hexaghost, and then we get offered Feather, Sozu, and something else. I believe we picked the Sozu. Let me just double check, because it's going really fast. All right, let me just slow it down right here. So we also pick up another Nightmare and the Sozu for the energy. So right now, the deck is looking with two Nightmares, Wraith Form, Deadly Poison, and all the relics that you guys saw. So yes, this deck gets crazy. All right. Let's continue here. This right now, what, what do we have? Double Nightmare Wraith Form deck? Okay, this is going to be spicy, guys. This is going to be spicy. Let's go for Elites, because we, we have all these Wraith Forms. I'm actually... I'm going to go for as many Elites as possible. I know that seems really crazy. I want to go for three or four Elites here. Okay, so we just Nightmare the Wraith Form. There's no way we're ever taking damage in this fight. Ever, ever. Forever, ever. And forever, ever. This is how we break the game. Now, the best way for this to even get even crazier is to do a bullet time. Now, if we can get bullet time or, or like even Sneko wide, this would be crazy. I just do this nonstop. Who cares if I take damage? Obviously, after image or recalcum or uh, things of that nature would help me out. Ooh. So setup is kind of interesting because I could use setup on the nightmare or the ray form. Distraction can be kind of nice to get like the I could use nightmare on the distraction. Although I don't think it would work because it won't stay zero, right? That's kind of awkward. Uh, deadly poison for more poison. I kind of like this. I like the setup because we have expensive cards with ray form and nightmare. That could be kind of interesting. I'm not gonna get jacks. Screw that. 
We want to hit a shot, but we also don't want to like sacrifice these elites for the shop, right? I'm gonna do nightmare. Not, I mean, I want to do nightmare noxious fumes, but at the same time, it's kind of. Yeah, fuck it. I was going to, but nah, fuck it. This is better. Who cares if we take one damage here and there? We have me and the bone, guys. If, even if we get low, we're fine. Oh, man, this is awkward. I have tea in my hand while I'm playing. Can I get rid of this somehow? Yikes. Okay. I'll put that just on top. Whatever. GG, GG, super easy guys, super easy. So far, breezy, easy, lemon squeezy. Prepared, could that work well with the setup? I like that. What's piercing? Piercing well is not bad as well. I think prepared works well with the setup. Apparition, so we're gonna have reforms and apparitions. I mean, that's just crazy. And we also have Nightmare to get the app do more with the apparitions, and we also have prepared to kind of discard them when we're not ready to use them. But since we already have wraith form, from an apparition, well, basically, what basically never take damage, guys. Well, this never take damage. Just think about it. Ah, fuck it. So maybe my turn's a little bit worse, but fuck it. I actually don't need defense anymore. Wait, I don't need defense. Let's get rid of the defense. Okay, it got defense for defense. That's wonderful. Apparition is beautiful here. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> um. I don't know, Apparition makes my deck a little bit fatter, which is not like the greatest, right? We got Wraith Form. We got Nightmare Apparition or Nightmare Wraith Form. They're both very nice, right? Let's do Nightmare Apparition and just use this. And now Noxious Room is just going to win the game. It's just going to be easy peasy. Oh my boys. I could survive with one of them so I don't have to use all of them. I could also set up the dash. Uh, I don't want to use all of them, right? I'm about to get intangible. Setting up one of them is not smart, not bad either. Uh, let's keep using them. We just waiting. Waiting on the world to change. Let's just keep using them. Why not? This is how you get this is how you get the easiest game of your life right here this is how you get the easiest game of your life guys this this is it from here i'm probably gonna perfect every single elite got the boot not bad another nightmare yes three nightmares let's go non-stop i might as well dig right the only thing that's worth an upgrade maybe is maybe upgrading the setup so I can get that for free and, and kind of save apparitions or get uh, energy gain. Maybe upgrading the nightmares so the nightmares are not as costly. But with apparition, I can have time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and dig, maybe get an energy relic. I got mango. That's not bad. That helps me get more life just in case the apparitions do run out, which I don't think is going to happen. Or what it does is gives me um, a bigger window to get me in the bone, right? So here we want to get Noxious Streamed out, of course. We also want to play the nightmare apparition, but we can't... See, I probably should have prioritized Nightmare Apparition, but we have a lot of Nightmares and a lot of Apparitions, so we can do this, this. Let's kill this guy just to get him out of the way. Let's kill this guy so that guy's not a pain in the ass. The boot's kind of nice with the, sh the shivs. The boot's kind of nice with the shivs. Uh, I'm going to Nightmare the Deadly Poison. Well, I had two more Nightmares, but it's not a big deal. Oh, uh, we're fine. Uh, I kind of want Apparition. I mean, I, I do want Apparition. Is it better to do Rayform? No, I think the Apparition's better. I don't mind taking damage here. I mean, let's see if we can avoid it. I suppose we could avoid taking damage, right? If we want to go for perfect. I can just also just not care. But, uh, okay, I'll go for perfect. I'll go for perfect. That's why setup is useful, because I can use setup for free to get the Wraith form out for free, or, or vice versa, the Nightmare. There's Nightmare Apparition, that's fantastic. So, we are going to take some damage here. I'm not in the business of getting perfect, but I, as long as I'm not dying, I'm happy. Okay, there we go. 
Should be GG. The most stupid broken deck ever. GG. Oh, we got them. There has the perfect combo. There we go. The backflip's not bad because backflip allows me to draw into it and stuff like that. Sure, why not? I'll take it. Corpus Explosion could be useful too. War Paint, Upgrade Apparition, I like that. I feel like I want to dig again. But, okay, I want to upgrade the setup just so I can get the setup for free and allow me to play more Nightmare Shenanigans. But, um, and from there I'm going to keep digging. And we're going to do two more elites and we got a shop in between this. So this is fantastic. Let's actually look for setup here. Well, first let's do Nightmare Apparition. But first let's look up for setup. Let's get the poison. Look at the boot go. Look at the boot go in action. There they are. Nightmare for free, guys. Oh, it's gonna be GG. I can let one of them go. Oh, we have Orikalkum. No, it doesn't matter. We have Orikalkum. Now we don't have to waste energy on defending. Oh, it's a GG. Okay, that's a lot of terms of invulnerable. I think we can go ahead and start attacking now. Let's get this on for free, just in case, just in case we want to. Why not? Why not just have another 10 turns of intangible? That's how we use setup, baby. Setup is great. GG. GG, I'm gonna steamroll through this, guys. Another Noxious Tombs is not bad, because we can just play Noxious Tombs, and it can also Nightmare it as well, but we just play Noxious Tombs and let... We just basically defend with Apparition, and let Noxious Tomb rack up. I think that's fine. Oh, this guy, this guy's easy-peasy. Lemon squeezy. Except for the times when we don't get... Um... <laughs> apparition first turn, right? But luckily, guys, we got Nightmare set up, so potentially we're gonna have a really nice turn coming up. Okay, we got Nightmare the Noxious Tomb, that's fine. It's better for me to get Orichalcum here. So we're taking a little bit of damage, but again, we have a lot of invulnerability in our deck at some point. There, there it is. And now we just let Noxious Tombs do its thing. Should be GG. Even on bad hands. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, ooh, I totally forgot that. Ooh, I forgot that we were... We don't have Apparition again. A little unlucky, you know, this is... Thank God we have uh, me and the bone to save us from this little moment. Because that's a little unlucky. All of our in uh, intangible was at the bottom of our deck. Interesting. So that's the, that's the problem. You don't want to make your deck too fat, right? I don't mind taking curses now because I can get more max HP, which helps me in the long run. I think Crippling Coward for the Poison in the Week is not bad. I already have like so much intangible, right? But I, th I think the AoE Poison is pretty useful, so I'll take it. And also Exhaust. Let's see what we get from the shop. Question card. Bursts. Bursts from... We can play our... Either Nightmare or Apparition is twice. I like the question card to get more selection. I also like removing just a defense. Because we don't even need a defense anymore. Well, it, it's nice to have defense just in case we have a bad hand, but... Like, I, I still argue defense is still better than... Well, now that we have already Calicum, defense is not better, so we probably want to move defense. And we'll take the Flying Knee to get more energy. I do. I like the Bursts. I like Flying Knee to get more things played. I also... Because first, I think we... Let's go for a question card and let's remove the defense. Forget the Flying Knee. And yeah, we don't need defense, guys. Another easy fight. Got Nightmare on the Apparition. Now, what I want to do is... I want to try to find setup, but since we can't guarantee that we get set up, I think it's better for me to just do this now. Because if I draw to look for setup and I end up not getting set up, it's going to be feel pretty bad. And luckily we got Nightmare on the one that's upgraded, so we don't even have to play them all. Got Nightmare again. I want to look for setup so I can make Nightmare free. Ah. I'll save this nightmare. 
I'll save it. Okay, we can make a form free. That's not bad. I might as well play it. You know what? I'm not worried about defending. We have Ori Kalkum. We just want to get the invulnerable for the rest of our life. Oh, burst crippling cow. Just get poison on everybody. Easy. That's nice. That works well. There was actually no point for me playing that, but it's GG anyways. GG. Another free, uh... Another free relic. Let's see what we get. Me and the bone. I mean, we're gonna get some healing here. Let's see what we get in terms of relic. Toxic egg. That makes my life so much easier. We have catalyst with nightmare. Yes. And it's upgraded too, so... I think at this point we want to dig. Just keep digging. Kunai. Okay, now we have the scaling of dexterity. Even though it's still really needed, but hey, it's nice to have. We can do burst nightmare... Caddis or Burst Nightmare Apparition. That's insane. The only problem with that is I can't utilize all of them. Let's see what we can draw into here. Apparition. Huh. I actually do... Well, I want to Nightmare them, right? But I don't want to use both of them. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to Burst Nightmare. Apparition. Apparition. We're going to have a hand full of apparitions, which might be bad because we're probably not going to be able to use all of them. Let's see what happens here. Holy shit. I actually ended up losing. I ended up losing two of those. I need like bullet time or some shit. There's Wraith form. I don't want to use Wraith form just yet. Kunai, cool. baby, let's go. Yeah, I might as well use this. I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna save that version because we don't need the apparition now. And what I'm gonna do is hopefully I can get a nightmare on this apparition that's gonna be free, and that could be much easier to play. That guy has my nightmare. I'm gonna keep that person just hanging around and be free. If anything, we'll have it for Hyper Beam, right? Not to mention the the ray forms we already have. Burst Catalyst. Huh. Is it better than Burst's Apparition here? You could argue that I, could, I might as well just kill the guy in the middle because... There's the Hyper Beam. Oh, I didn't even realize. So that was super easy. Kunai, baby. Alright, there's the Wraith. There's the Nightmare. So we can do Nightmare Wraith form. And then we're never gonna lose. Ever. But you guys knew that. But you guys knew that. And even if I'm getting scared about the... We got two of them playing. Even if I was getting worried about the, the negative scaling of it, I have Kunai to balance it out. Nightmare again? Ooh. Ooh. We can do setup on the Wraith form. And we can do burst apparition. Actually, there's no reason to. I'll do it. Fuck it. This is such an easy game. Oh my god, this is the dream, guys. Check this out. Oh, it doesn't keep the cost. That sucks. That's lame. Uh, what I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to focus on getting catalysts. I should just catalyst there, actually. That was, that was lethal. There it is. GG. This is such a broken deck. I love it, man. Silent is so fun. Burst plus or another Wraith form. I might as well do burst plus because burst plus can give me more apparitions and give me more nightmares for the Wraith form. So let's do burst plus. Runic Dome Choker. Well, we don't like the Choker. Runic Dome we don't, doesn't matter because, guys, we're, not, we're never taking damage. And the Awakened one should be a joke. Let's go for as many elites as possible yet again. One, two. Let's go for three elites. 
Let's go. If I perfected the first boss, this would have been a really nice high score. Burst Nightmare to do Apparition many, 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 many times. There's absolutely no reason for me to be using my Apparitions there. Now that we have 5 energy, we can play more Apparitions, right? We could Nightmare again. Let's just do that. Quick and easy. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't get a time bonus because I had a lot of distractions. GG! Entropic Brew. Backstab piercing. Well, backstab is not bad. I can just use backstab to like, just to kill some ads. Just to get them out of the way. It helps me get a kunai. I mean, I don't really need it. I'll take it, but I don't really need it. It helps get some more damage, right? Two madness. You know what? Madness is actually going to be free. So I can take that. It makes my draws a little bit worse, but whatever. In fact, now I'm in a situation where my draws are a little bit worse. Nightmare man, can we, can we can get Nightmare Madness, right? We can get the Nightmare Madness here. I want a Nightmare, the zero cost Nightmare. Ah, uh, what other plans will help actually? What other plans can help me get some more stuff? I might, I might look for that. Easy. This is why the silent is broken, guys. Like, what? Like. Tell me how this is fair. Tell me how this is fair in a class. It's not. Nothing fair about this. Another catalyst? Yes. Who needs blur? Who needs blur, man? Lose burst, lose... I could lose the... You know what? Noxious Fumes is pretty important, though, right? Because that helps with my... That's what I'm doing damage with. I like the burst. I don't need dash. The, you know what? Dash is actually kind of bad. Another catalyst. Really? Okay. This deck is just stupid now. I'll take Acrobatic just so we can get more card draw. We have enough energy to use a lot of stuff. Oh, this guy's gonna get destroyed by catalysts. Hopefully. This time for this. Okay, <laughs> that's two dexterity. That's that. Let's do burst on both of them. I should play Noxious Fumes, right? So I'm going to go ahead and lose one of them. But that, my friends, is gorgeous. Wait, I, sh I shouldn't be using setup because I don't care about that, the, the block at all. I want to remove them if I can. Ooh. Okay, I'll do a catalyst here just to get that out, right? I mean, ideally, we want to get a block. We want to get the burst on a catalyst, but we have more than one cat. We have two catalysts in the deck. We have nightmare catalyst. Oh, that's GG. I believe we win. I believe we win next turn, guys. <laughs> just like that. GG. Just to make matters worse. GG. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Look at the look at the poison. Holy shit. Oh my god. We don't need any of these. I mean, I guess Abanuber helps me get all that stuff out. But I don't really need any of these. I'm gonna skip. We have enough energy. We're fine. We're going for two more elites. What is up, my friends? This guy's probably attacking me. I should have not done the strike there, but... Oh, we're fine. We're actually okay. Never mind. Easy. Easy peasy. He had one opportunity. He didn't. He didn't capitalize. 
So madness actually works well with nightmare and rayform. So I could get the madness on the rayform. Hopefully. Well, let's see what hits. That's fine. Actually. Okay, I did that wrong. I should have played Deadly Poison first and then Kirby and then the Madness. That was much smarter, but whatever. Nightmare Catalyst is much better at this point. <laughs> this is so silly. GG. Setup just helps get everything out. So does Prepare. Prepare helps me get discard when I don't need it or helps me get things doing. Backflip for card draw is not bad, but I don't like the block aspect of it, right? The card draw is nice because I feel like I want to get into things, so maybe the card draw is fine. But prepared is similar, but it's not really drawing. It's discarding as well. Ah, let's do backflip. Just for the card draw. I don't care about the block aspect. Let's dig. Ah, that doesn't really help. Whatever. Pendant. That's kind of that's nice with the skewer. Is there anything else I want to upgrade? Like I said, I want to upgrade the um the bursts, right? But then let's also start digging everything else. Hello, my friends. Easy. Easy. Uh-oh. This is one of those turns where, like... This is one of those turns where we didn't get... Wow. Okay, that's what happens when you don't draw into what you need. Wow, wow, wee, wow, guys. Wow. Where are the apparitions? There they are. There they are. The hell? Could you couldn't have come sooner? It's okay, we have me in the bone. No worries. I'm a little bit about that against the awakened one. If I get that if I get bad turns against awakened, that like I'll kinda suck, right? I'm gonna skip here. What do you got for me? Oh, we got apparitions for days, my friends. In fact, I wanna kinda look for something to make these apparitions a little bit stronger. I want to set up the catalyst. I will just do three apparitions. That's fine. Let's see. This is like this is like basically he is like me. But let's see who's stronger. I got a lot of catalysts, but no poison. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Check this out. Hello. We're going to have a lot of zero-cost apparitions coming up. I'm sorry, my friends. This is it's not going to be nice for you. Especially when I draw bursts. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of terms of invulnerable. Oh, I think I see what I like what I see here guys. I like what I see. Nightmare Catalyst, let's go. Just in case. Just in case one catalyst wasn't enough. I can skip here. Nightmare Catalyst, let's go. All we need now, though, is to get the poison and we need to get our tangibles. That's all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank God. Let's see what else we can draw into. Nice. Just discard this one. Play that, and let's see what we hit. Ah, it's okay. Right, 
I have one more turn intangible. You guys gotta come up. Gotta come up big. Either the waveform or the apparition. I'm waiting. There it is. There it is. Never late. Always on time. Terror. Expertise helps to get more things out, right? But uh, I don't think I need any more card draw. I think we're going to card draw. The terror, I guess, helps with the skewer. Sure, I'll take it. I don't even need it. Honestly, we have Catalyst. We don't need it. It's completely pointless. Let's try to... Okay, we want to get rid of this stuff because what we want to find is our nightmares or apparitions. There they are. Both of them. There's both of them. Nightmare Catalyst is also really effective, but we gotta stay alive first and get the poison, and then we can go ahead and do Nightmare Catalyst. That works. Oh boy, I want to get that. Oh no. Alright, we, we still have a lot of callus in the deck, we're fine. Okay, that's one catalyst. GG! Guys, this is gonna be... Man, this deck is so bonkers. Whew, it's ridiculous. I like the Quick Slash just for more damage. I mean, more card draw, right? We have enough energy, we can probably use Quick Slash. Alright, let's dig. Okay, it doesn't really help, but whatever, we'll take it. We got Nightmare on the Apparition. Easy peasy. Nightmare in the apparition again. Now we also have madness. We also have madness that we could use. Wow. Let's do setup on this. Madness on a zero cost apparition. Sure thing. Which means next turn I can play every single one of them. Easy. Got burst as well. Oh, I feel very bad about that. Very sorry. My condolences. Let's get, let's get the poison out there. Let's get a few Callus in the deck, right? I, I'll use one of them on him. We have more than we have more, another one where we can do, right? I believe we have we have an, another Callus we can uh, nightmare. Let's see if we can draw into it. Let's see what this hits. Oh, perfect! This is exactly what I wanted to hit. There's the other catalyst. Let's look for Nightmare. I think we still have another Nightmare, right? I'm not sure. I'm not even gonna... I was gonna use Apparitions, I'm not even going to. Oh, I don't regret that. Ooh. Oh, we have one more Nightmare in the deck somewhere. Let's use that. 
All right. There's a nightmare. We don't have. We want to get our catalyst, though, right? Hmm. Here's what I can do. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna. Hmm. I want to draw, and I want. What I want to do is set up. I want to set up the nightmare. So that I can hopefully get it on the catalyst, even though it's not even necessary. Just for style points. Still haven't found it. Ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. There it is. GG. We could have had perfect on probably the first boss as well. But guys, that don't, don't mind the time. It was actually a really fast run, really easy run. And that is how you get 1840 like it's nothing. Like it's nothing, guys. A brand new high score on the silent. Took a long break from the silent. Stay doing the defect. Come back to the silent. We absolutely smash it, guys. This is probably the most broken silent deck I've ever had. Brand new high score as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you guys did, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next latest part of video. Take care. Peace.